coach a lot of the guys said they were encouraged sorry i'm back here <laughs> encouraged by watching film and seeing some things they could improve upon do you feel that same way uh, there's certainly a lot of things that we could have done better and you know when you have a chance to watch it on video and um, see the areas that you can improve um, you know you need that confidence going into a game what were some of those areas that you saw well a lot of it was at the defensive end you know offensively the turnovers were a big concern and uh, hopefully we'll take care of that but you know defensively uh, there are a lot of areas that we can clean up like what I was with our team so just in general, Terry, what, what kind of things defensively, though, are you looking at? Uh, is it personnel-oriented? Is it strategic? Or is it? Um, you know, Murray, Murray Jokic, two-man game is probably the biggest concern. Uh, Millsap hurt us one-on-one -on -one in the first half. Um, our turnovers led to their transition. Um, you know, I think those were those are the main areas. In general, would you consider changing matchups on those players? It's always a consideration. Terry, what did you think of uh, Mo and, and Aminu in that fourth quarter stretch where they started? You know, we tried, we changed the matchups in the fourth quarter, and um, it's it's difficult situation when we switch Mo on to Jokic and he's trying to guard him at the free throw line. Um, you know, tried tried different things. So um, I'm glad we had at least a chance to look at it. So if, if we want to go to it, we know what we have to look forward to. There's a lot of chatter about Jokic and that matchup, but they turned it on. Murray got going after Game Three. What's what challenges does he bring, and how has he improved from that stretch? Because he looked a little odd at this time last week. Uh, you know, he he and Jokic have a great two-man game. Um, you know, I think we charted out of his 70 possessions, he's on the court with uh, Jokic for 72 of them. So they they play really well together. When you have two guys who can proficient scores and good passers, um, it makes it difficult. But you know he's he's had a very good game. You know he's had good games against us in the past. Is that seventy of seventy-two? I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> seventy of seventy-two. He was on for seventy. Yeah. Well, give me a break. Make sure. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it, it not you, Joe. <laughs> he dishes it out just as much as he takes it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so overall, how are you feeling? You know, it's a seven-game series. Um, you know, I think both teams feel like they can play better. I read, you know, Coach Malone and their players seem to think they can play better. We think we can play better. That's that's part of uh, NBA series. Mm -hmm. I mean, the emotions run high and on. So, you know, so many people get caught up in one loss and then you have to keep an even keel. Well you do, but there's uh there's an urgency to it. Um, you know, you don't want to get behind the eight ball and uh, put yourself in a bad position. Um, you know, winning on the road is difficult. Uh, the importance of game two becomes even more important with uh, with the with the loss. And you know that's obvious to everybody. Coach, is there any thought to protecting Cantor's shoulder by taking him off of Jogic and his physicality? No, not really. Um, I mean, he'll do what he can. I don't know if uh, if he was put in a bad way guarding him uh, as far as as far as his shoulder. You know, he hurt his shoulder on a dunk. You know, that's yeah. kind of the. So I mean, he's got to play through it, and if it comes to that, we'll do it. But uh, it's not really a consideration right now. And are you really comfortable with him on Millsap? Can't. Yeah. I, you know, if uh, if we put Mo and Chief in those situations, then he's got to guard Millsap. So that's something that we have to consider. And as said, you have to treat every game like a game seven. How have you felt like the players have embraced that urgency this early in the series? I think it's a little early to say after game one, but uh, I think playoff basketball is, I think everybody's ready and everybody's everybody's playing hard. You may not always play your best, but everybody plays hard. Coach, I just good about it last night, but it really is uh, amazing how well Ennis is playing for that shoulder, don't you think? Yeah, last night he's, uh, you know, to go 11 for 14, and, you know, they're all in the paint, and, uh, you know, he's he's battling defensively, and, you know, he played through it. If he, I only saw him grimace really once, and that was on the dunk. Uh, otherwise, he's playing through it. I think the H&P department did a nice job of, you know, helping him with his recovery and give him a good tape job, and, um, you know, we just... But yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more. Everybody's comparing Jokic to Tom Brady. Do you defend him like Tom Brady? 
Can you stick a big guy up the middle and get a hand in his face? Um, I don't know how to guard Tom Brady either. <laughs> Inflate the ball, maybe a little bit? <laughs> Coach, are, you, are you that concerned with the offensive output of your two forwards? I mean, I know that they're kind of defensive guys primarily, but and I obviously you probably want more offensive output from them, but is that a concern? Do you make it a you know, effort to get them going? Uh, you know, we, we do look to post Mo when he has matchups. Um, those two guys really are opportunistic when they have their opportunities. And we don't run a lot of plays for them. Uh, they find them in the flow of the game, uh, whether it's uh, shooting threes or offense rebounds, running the floor. Um, you know, I said after the game, we had a good offensive night take outside of the turnovers. So my concern as a unit is that we have a good offensive game, however it comes about. And so, you know, Rodney gave us good, good production off the bench. Um, you know, I, I think people get caught up too much in what, seeing how many points uh, Chief and Mo score. Um, you know, if they're there, they're there. If not, you know, and we're struggling, then maybe we go there. But like I said, I don't think we struggled much offensively last night outside of the turnovers. Those minutes where you rest both Dame and CJ, you mentioned Rodney giving you a real big boost, but what about Seth? It seemed like he had a little bit of a hard time getting shots up and getting involved. Yeah, uh, you know, when when we can get Seth involved, um, it's it's a bonus. You know, and a lot of his shots, um, you know, he's good with the ball. He's good off the ball. Um, some of it you got to give credit to uh, to the defense. You know, closing out hard and not giving them those looks. But um, I'd like to think that you know. The way we play offense, we create problems with pick and rolls. We make uh, put the defense in situations where they have to make decisions. So if they stay home, that opens the middle. We got to the paint a lot. Um, but when when they have their opportunities, whether it's uh, in transition or three-point shooting, where they got to take advantage of it.